Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to keep working on the Leagues of Votan Pioneers. Um, probably maybe get one more built and we're just going to keep hammering at that. So without further ado, let's get at her. League Territories the leagues lay claim to sh star spanning territories both within the galactic core and beyond. The systems systems demarcated by each league our league's identity beacon teams with strange races phenomena wilderness regions and perilous environments to be overcome and or explored, sorry, exploited as the League's kindreds see fit. Even the smallest kindreds typically command either a hollow world, nomad, flotilla, or void station that they call home. The largest and most prosperous amongst them meanwhile rule over multiple star systems possessing popular centers, resources, harvesting facilities and military power comparative to many minor alien empires. Considering that a typical league of Otan consists of being consists of between a half dozen to a score of kindreds. <coughs> Excuse me. It is easy to see how even single leagues can hold sway over a considerable region of space, though there have been dark times when civil wars raged between kindreds excuse me or leagues. Such occurrences are rare for they are viewed with distaste, but the kin as dishonorable and wasteful. More usually once a league has laid claim to a region, the claim is honored by all other kin. Established boundaries shift rarely for they soon become tradition to the kin. Usually when such a change of ownership does occur, it is due to revised trade agreements, the changing alliances of a kindred taking their sovereign territory with them, or else the hostile onslaught of alien fo forces. The consequence of new regions not held by the leagues of Wotan is an entirely different matter. The kin consider any regions of space not actively claimed by their people to be open for conquest. 
other or that other race might also already dwell there it is seemed as either opportunity or obstacle <clears throat> should the inhabitants of a system be amen amendable to manual oh, sorry mutually beneficial trade or peaceful cohabitation then so long the kin can continue with their desired acquisitions uninterrupted the These opinions are often taken. Some kindred have mani managed to exist in peaceful alliances with non-kindred species for centuries at a time, forming com compacts with their neighbors against the hostile attention of invaders and pirates. If, on the other hand, military conquest is the only valuable strategy or viable strategy by which a region can be added to a league's territories, and if the costs of fight can be justified then the kin will not hesitate to go on the offensive in many ways such impersonal invasions can be as horrifying to defenders as any hate-filled crusade of slaughter being mercilessly eliminated by foes who view you as no more than obstacles to be removed is deeply unsettling and belittling experience. So hardy and technologically advanced are the kindred that they have claimed many regions of space viewed by other species as amicable. Nothka's kindred of the Trans-Hyperion Alliance, for example, maintain a hold amidst the Calamitous ru ruin belt of the broken triples or triplets. This trio of worlds were smashed together during some ancient catastrophe and colossal. 
quantities of debris form their demise, still whirl, and ricochets in a vast cloud or rickets in a vast cloud to this day trapped by the gra gravatic autonomy that caused the disaster Few other people could consider such a devastating region home, yet the holds of Nosakan kindred sunder stare sits at the heart of the anomaly behind breathtaking bulwarks of interwoven force fields. These both <coughs> excuse me shelter the immense void station and also maintain clear space line for its void craft to take in and out of the system. Not only do the kin enjoy the natural defense of the rune belt, with which would swiftly cripple invading crafts, but they have also spent centuries mining and exposing in, in innards of the broken triplets. The orcs bane kindred are the Yimyar cog congl conglomerate. Meanwhile built their holds upon the irradiated, irradiated worlds of Tam Tamarack, known as Broke Fre Bro or Broke Fire, maybe? The hold is dug deep into Tama or Tame Kaz mantle insulted against the exotic and deadly energy spectra that pour from the words nearby stars. What violent Hypothesis the tortured star is undergoing, none can say. But three millennia now, the orc Spain kindred have captured the energizes and its raging solar flares using miles high stellar <coughs> veins. These engineer powered, sorry, these energy powered their forges, which is almost the greatest in all the league. Of Wotan, renowned for the amazing weapons of war it can produce. 
there are as many examples of kin extramorphile capabilities as there are blazing stars filling the skies of the galactic core. The greater Suan leagues hold through the shirking nebula, the dark star mines. Clunging to the fringes of the dead zone, the holds of the car K car kick car cray, um, stellar nursery, the bale wind harvesters, stations of. Yenay's kindred and the kindred of Aranok, the ice locked holds of Stygist Lagoon on the bull border of the Orc Empire of Morzag the and countless other holds are renowned throughout the leagues as sources of pride and example of how the kin can conquer any region of space no matter how perilous. Broken stone storms, the greatest record upheaval to league space can with came with the emergence of the great rift and the eruption of multiple warp storms across the galactic core. Org Vartry Tor Tor roll. Og Sight Cyclops and other distorted maelstrom swallowed systems consumed kindred sundered age old trade routes and stable warp Currents and left many leagues either suddenly embattled or or broken into warp river sorry warp riven fragments As the stock waves of the warp storm rolled outwards, worse was to follow. Long, stable, celestial phenomena convulsed into, sorry, convulsed and mutated with parcels sorry with pulsars becoming bet and tasseled predatory honor predatory honors, grave reefs, inverting the black holes, spore dark ma matter fangs as they expanded 
ravenously. Hostile races such as the insidious insidious Septrix, the Chromebrick Fur Teas, and the ominous Cult of Own were divided into warpaths as their own home systems were consumed. Some storms Ogverin and Garak war amongst them. Omitted hordes of chaos. Warships invaded and dim demonic horrors. And one orc wog after another erupted from fringes of the storm. It was, in fact, such threats that many of the leagues of Otan chose to seek new territory beyond the boundaries of the core for the first time in millennia. At the, the same time, the universal upheaval catapulted human Aldarian and Tao interlopers into the galactic core disclosed through space and time by the energies of the warp and spat out in territory claimed by the leagues anarchy Anarchic conflicts erupted as Interpols sought to either fight their way out or claim territory for themselves, and the kin fought back with equal vigor. Far space, the leagues have never restricted themselves solely to the galactic core. Hernkin, Kuthonis, and accompanying soldiers from militarized expeditions known as prospects to seek out far-flung resources galaxy-wide. Entire oath bands of kin depart from their kindred to serve as mercenaries, often fight alongside humans, and at times even settling on worlds within imperial space or in integration for a time into human society. Meanwhile, planets such as Necromunda and Vo Vordine have boasted populations of so-called squats for as long as imperial records tell once occasion oh sorry on occasion one kindred or another has relocated itself wholesale out of the core sometimes traveling to the furthest reaches of the known galaxy once 
quest, on one quest or another, most others such undertake undertaking are results of insight offered by the Votan and have ended either in incredible discoveries and deeds of heroism or else the disappearances of kindred into the darkness between the stars. Whatever the nature of these departures or conclusions, effort, efforts out of the core all are said by the kin to occur in far space than being any region beyond the circum circum nuclei nuclein disc that marks the outer borders of their ad additional territories. Some amongst the kin believe that a venture into far space is a fool's errand, and in indeed the expression sailed to far space is used throughout many holds to mean that the kin have embarked upon a dangerous course of action. They will likely regret th there are other us amongst the hearth speakers whoever however who believe that just as the kin hailed from the depths of far space so many millennia before, so their ancestors' roots and their futures lie out there in the great dark.
Oh, thanks again for watching another video. Please like and subscribe. Please share with your friends. If you feel like you like the content and if it's getting better, feel free to donate. Uh, links are in the description. And we are, we will eventually get to painting because this is a painting channel. It is coming, don't worry. It's, uh, it's in the works, but uh, once I get all these uh, built, then get some paint and move on. And yeah, thank you very much, and we'll see you. Have a good one.